So every once in a while I do a little computer repairing, uh, you know, for friends and family members, and I've been just sitting here for the past, you know, a uh, couple of hours trying to repair one of these older e-machines. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's, it's an older Intel Pentium 4 is what it's got for a processor, and it's not actually running Windows XP like it says there. It's actually running uh, Windows 7 64-bit Ultimate, uh, which... It's kind of where I'm running into the problems. It's kind of why this video happens to be... You happen to be watching this video right now because it's a peculiar thing to pair uh, Windows 64-bit Ultimate with an old Pentium 4 single-core processor and 512 gigabytes of RAM. I don't... <clears throat> I'm not sure why really you would do this, but um, apparently somebody did. And uh, I was hoping, I don't know what they were hoping to get out of this, but um, really, it's an, technically it's enough to run the system, it, it really is. Uh, but, you know, how fast and with what kind of performance, uh, uh, I guess I'm kind of seeing it here as I, I've, I've tried to, uh, been trying to restart this thing a number of times. I actually had it pretty decent, you know, I cleaned all the bugs out, I cleaned out the spyware, the... the Antivirus or the viruses and stuff, and <clears throat> got all the junk out of it. And the best, the, the best way to do go about all this stuff is to simply wipe and reload, so you don't have to worry about it all. But sometimes I like to experiment and <clears throat> kind of tinker around and see what some of the bugs are and stuff. But um, this particular machine, I had it running pretty decent, and then uh, uh, after another restart, you can see it's starting to come on again. Finally. <clears throat> Um, but it's got the arrow interface, which in itself takes up quite a bit of resources, you know. Um, and again, I, we're, we're, we're just running that, that single Pentium 4 processor. I've got a, an older HP machine that I had growing up with, and it, it'd be like the equivalent of me putting, like, Windows 8 64-bit, you know, professional on it. And it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You know, um, maybe I could put some RAM... Maybe I can find some old RAM and stick it into the C-Machines and you know, have a better performing computer. Um, I went through and did some of the, you know, you go into MS Config and you can take out some of the, uh, um, some of the things that start up with Windows is what causes uh, that, that hefty boot time. That was one of the initial complaints with this coming in is that uh, it just took forever to, to start up and sometimes it didn't start up at, at all. But, well now it starts up fine and everything. Um, just takes a ridiculously long amount of time so we're just kind of stripping it down. Again, like I said, the, the best way really is to just wipe and reload. But I don't have a fresh copy of 64-bit professional on hand. Um, you can acquire them. There's the licensing issues and all that sort of stuff. Um, so I'd have to go in and and find the license key on the hard drive, wherever it's located, and do it that way. But yeah, I just thought I'd bring you this little video. I just was sitting here, and I was just pondering uh, some things, going over some blog stuff and all that. <clears throat> but hey, while I'm sitting here trying to repair this computer, let's just make a video about it, about what I am doing. This I don't, I'm not in the business of doing this. I just do it once in a while for friends and family and all that so for experience mainly but I think I'm gonna start charging a little bit of money because it, it can get stressful um, especially when you don't have you know <clears throat> the proper you don't have the, the uh, computer when you're brought a computer that doesn't have specs that <laughs> just don't go well together you know 64-bit ultimate a consumer machine, e-machines, I don't know. I don't know, Windows. I don't know e-machines. I don't know Intel. Wait, I know all three of you very well. Because there's always lots of problems. So I'm going to guess I'm going to be here for a little while. All right, my friends. May the plus be with you. Boop.